this is a nice business you got here. Be ashamed if something happened to it, you know? Maybe uh, you and I can work something out. So as a ardent defender of the First Amendment, it is sad for me to inform you that members of Congress using the congressional letter had sent a letter to AT&T demanding what they are going to do about misinformation that would lead to incidents like what happened on January 6th in the Capitol riots. Of course, everybody can decry and state that what happened on January 6th should not be repeated, that it was wrong, that it was bad. What's even worse and more chilling for me are the attempts to thwart and to choke out the First Amendment. You see, Congress does not have the ability to pass laws prohibiting speech because the First Amendment protects us against that. So what do they do? They go to AT&T, one of the main distributors of cable news, and try to get Fox News, OAN, and Newsmax banned. What are you doing to prevent the spread of misinformation? Then they ask for statistics. They ask for documentation regarding this using the congressional letterhead. Basically, they are doing a mafia-like tactic to demonstrate the fact that they have the ability to put pressure on AT&T because they own all three branches of the legislative and the executive, the two legislative and the executive branch of government. This is what they're threatening. Thus, in order to go along with it, you should make changes. Hey, maybe you want to stop spreading misinformation via Fox News. Hey, while we're at it, why don't we stop spreading misinformation from CNN? Who tell you that it's okay to riot since when do riots have to be peaceful? Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful who for four years were spreading misinformation about the 2016 campaign and Donald Trump and the Steele dossier and all the nonsense that existed. I need as an American, as somebody who believes in individual liberty, to have our right to speak and express ourselves protected. And that includes outlets on the right. And what the main, what these Democrats, what these leftists are trying to do are trying to leverage the private corporation to do the government's bidding. And it hurts. It's something, somebody sticking a knife into you when you realize that they're trying to take away your freedoms, that they want one discourse, that they are trying to turn this into some Orwellian nightmare where they have all access, where they have all the means of distribution of the information to the majority of people, and thus they will be able to constrict the small percentage that communicates underground of between each other on private message boards like Telegram and Signal, which of course they are trying to do away with as well. We must all stand up against this totalitarian, ed these totalitarian edicts that are trying to squash our ability to communicate with, other, with each other, to spread our thoughts and our views. And this is what the Democrats are doing. It's far worse. Didn't you used to consider the fact that it, in the 90s, it was the right that was trying to say, you can't say certain things. And it was the left that was protecting free speech. Back then, I favored the left-hand side of the aisle. I was excited when Barack Obama was elected. But now you take a look and who's trying to take away the individual liberty, the individual freedoms, who's trying to brainwash you with their critical race theory and trying to create racial divisions and trying to take away your right to speak, other people's right to express their point of view, that they only want one narrative and they're using these mafia-like strong arm tactics with the cable news providers trying to cut them off. You must all stick up for the First Amendment. That which protects our liberties. And I say this, and I hope that this is nonpartisan, because this is evil. There should be both sides of view expressed, because lest they do this, and then a right-wing militia group takes over power and says, CNN, you guys are off the air, and we are going to pressure all of the distribution sources to pull you down using our governmental weight and our ability to harass those companies. This is something that we must all unite on. And so I just urge you to take this into account when you vote.
And I would love it if you guys left a comment for me and let me know your thoughts on this subject because this is something that I'm wildly passionate about. That means you're right to disagree with me in the comment section. You have that ability to, and I stand by that because this is how we solve our differences. We use free speech to solve our differences peacefully so that we do not have to resort to violence. And I stand by that. And if they continue to go down that road, it's almost inevitable that there will be violent confrontations. Let's avoid that. Hopefully you're with me. Leave me a comment. If you're new, subscribe and thumb up this video. Peace out.